So, there was a Pokemon Direct today, and like last week when the Nintendo Direct, I'm going to do my thoughts on the three games that were announced today, or had some news on them. And while I'm going to spoil this a little bit right now, a certain game I wanted didn't exist. But anyway, let's focus on what happened in this Direct. So, time for the first announcement. Number one. Why did I say number one? I was just in the script. What am I doing? Pokemon Snap news. Pokemon Snap actually looks like a really cute game from all this. You run around taking pictures of Pokemon, their natural habitat, and show them to a professor who's like, Yes! More! So you take more. But from the footage we got, Pokemon Snap seems like, well, it's a very cute game. I don't know if I would get it. Some problems I saw in it was that it barely had any story. So that kind of seems pretty boring. And also, some parts had some pretty noticeable drops in polish. Like with that fish I always forget the name of, but it becomes a lamp fish. Or whatever it's called. Uh, during my first reaction to it, it was just that noticeable that when I first saw it, I was confused. Like, wh what happened to the high quality? But I never played the first Pokemon Snap, so I only know the appeal of taking pictures of Pokemon. The areas do look really cool and remind me of one of my favorite games and I'll never get another one. I I, I was really hoping for a Pokemon 3 reveal. I, I know there was like a 0% chance, but come on, it's such a good and cute game. And with the new Pokemon, no less. But anyway, Pokemon Snap seems like a pretty cool game. And I may get it if I'm in the mood for a new game, but that's not often. And other than that, probably not. Number two. Alright, I know a lot of people wanted this. I did too. But Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. That really dates all the memes on it, doesn't it? But anyway, when I saw it, I was pretty hype. But there was one problem with it to me. It might make me not get the game. I think it's a bit too faithful to the source material, at least right now. The characters look off with the top-down view, and it looks like you just took the character and squished it. Like, with the arrival in the battle, it just, it doesn't have the same level of polish that Sword and Shield does. And that just makes it look awkward. And the footage they showed us, unlike Let's Go, was just way too faithful. Every remake so far had a brand new mechanic. Omega Ruby, Let's Go, and Pokemon Zeo. Wait, my, my bad, that's not a thing. But also, the textures just don't look that high quality for the game, especially on the Switch. I know it's probably still in the earlier stage of development, but it's kind of weird the way they decide to do this. But just every single character in the game is way too weird looking. They could have done it like they did to Go, made so that it's not a top-down game. And Go was a very well-made port. Why couldn't they have done that to this? I'm, st I'm still probably going to get it. But it's not my favorite port ever. <laughs> Pokemon Legends. Alright, I know this game's been getting a lot of hype on it. This game just doesn't look like my cup of tea at the moment. <laughs> I know we haven't really gotten much info on it. But at the moment, it kind of looked like a pretty boring game. I've heard that it's a lot like a Breath of the Wild Pokemon thing. But thing is, I've never played Breath of the Wild, and I tried it once, and I didn't really like it. It's just like, at the moment, it's just walking around and catching Pokemon with no battle aspect. I mean, they showed us the battles, but not really how they would work. It's basically an overworld Pokemon game. But at the moment, it reminds me of the mode in Mario Party games where you remove the minigames. It just feels kind of stale. Like this was a tech demo for Sword and Shield and they just decided to expand on it. Not nearly as good as how Luigi's Mansion was originally a tech demo. And the starter choice kind of confuses me. It's kind of just a random assortment of Pokemon. I mean, I love all of them. But excuse me for sounding like a nerd. I think it'll completely mess up the lore of Pokemon. Especially with Arceus. I know we haven't gotten much info on it, but Pokemon Legend seems kind of weird to me, to be honest. And also, when I first saw it, I really thought it was a Pokemon game, Pokepark game, and that makes me very sad. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't know what I was expecting. I'm happy, I mean, I'm not saying it was bad. 
I know a lot of people are excited for these games. And I'm really happy for the people who are hyped for the first two games. They weren't what I specifically wanted, but some people are finally getting the game that they've been waiting for for years. So that's amazing. And the only real thing I really wanted was Poke Park 3, and that's not happening. So I didn't really care much for this one, but it's good to know that some people are very excited for all these games. And that's what makes me most happy, to be honest. Good job, Game Freak. You please the masses.